What's up guys? It's Star Wars Day! Hey, I'm Erin Darling. Good to be back here at What's Trending and May the 4th be with you. Yes, it is May 4th as you guys know and all you Star Wars nerds out there know that today is the very special day that we all get to celebrate our nerddom all because of some silly pun that happened back in 1979 during the filming of Empire Strikes Back. May the 4th be with you. Fun fact for all you guys out there, all of the Star Wars movies have debuted in the month of May and The Force Awakens will be the first one that's going to debut in December of this year. Okay you guys, so really let's get down to it. These pictures are photographs by the famed photographer Annie Leibovitz and she's amazing. We've seen her work in many big publications and she's shooting the cover for Vanity Fair. Hence these cool Star Wars photos from the Pinewood Studios in London and I don't know why I'm I'm doing this, but it's Star Wars Day. It's Star Wars Day. It's Star Wars Day. Um, this Vanity Fair cover features Harrison Ford as Han Solo. We've got Peter Mayhew as Chewbacca, Daisy Ridley as Rey, and John Boyega as Finn. Plus, BB-8 is hanging out in the corner. Our new droid, y'all. Other photos include a behind-the-scenes shot of Adam Driver as Kylo Ren, Lupita Nyong'o in a mocap setup, which will transform her into the CGI pirate character Maz Kanata. Plus, Plus some aliens hanging out in Maz Kanata's castle, Oscar Isaac as X-Wing pilot Poe Dameron, and the shot of JJ directing Daisy Ridley as she sits on a land speeder. We've also got a behind the scenes photo that she shot featuring JJ Abrams with Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy, and also we've got Lawrence Kasdan who helped pen some of the scripts that you guys know and love including Empire Strikes Back and helped out on this upcoming film The Force Awakens. The last time we saw some Annie Leibovitz photos go viral. It was back in 2012 when she shot some amazing campaigns for Disney theme parks featuring celebrities as our favorite Disney princesses, villains, characters, etc. We saw Rachel Weiss as Snow White, Olivia Wilde as the Wicked Queen, and Alec Baldwin as the Magic Mirror. I don't know, I think there could be a drug reference in there. And in honor of this special unofficial fanboy holiday, we've got a couple of clips that you guys will surely enjoy. One of them being the classic Yub Nub song. And because we love you guys, it's the original version before they added in Hayden Christensen and made it something virtually unwatchable. So there you go. <laughs> Special trade, 1978 content. Yes, we're talking the Star Wars Holiday Special and the Jefferson Starship version of Light the Sky on Fire. Let's see how our favorite brands are getting into Star Wars Day. First off, we've got WWE getting in on this action featuring some of their favorite wrestlers with lightsabers. And then Target is getting in on this by, you know, celebrating the Jedi door trick. It's just automatic doors. You can do yeah, that any day. Uh, I do that every day. Hootsuite suggests that they should put Jon Snow in charge of the Battle of Hoth. So they're celebrating Star Wars by combining hashtags? It's multiple pandering, Erin. It's genius. Uh, I guess. Uh, two birds, one stone. And here we've got the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee's version of Star Wars Day with Barack Obama, our dear president, holding a lightsaber with his family. And finally, UCB brought us Tim Ross, who is best known on Star Trek as Lieutenant Commander Tuvok, and he's telling us what Star Wars Day is, just in case you guys didn't know. I was friends. All save the girl character and try to leave, but not before Dark Vader turns Obi into laundry. Luke is sad and realizes there's only one thing to do. Get in his X thing and kill everyone on the death ball. Pill gets his head blown off, so Luke uses the fourth to put a laser in the death ball's hole. Boom! So long, death ball. So how are you guys celebrating Star Wars Day? Are you bringing the force with you to wherever you are? How are you doing it? And how are you propagating the internet with your Star Wars fandom? Let us know, leave a comment below, tell us what your favorite thing was that you saw in this video because I know there's a lot of information we got going on here. And stay tuned to What's Trending for more awesome stuff. Share, like, subscribe. I'm Erin Darling, see you guys next time.